Hi, this is Marissa from FlexVFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add more photos or more scenes to a template. And the one we're using right now is called the 50 uh, Hanging Photo Display. What we're going to do is duplicate one of the scenes, therefore adding more photos to this montage. Hopefully, by looking at this example, you'll be able to replicate this in other templates as well. So, let's get started. What we're going to do is duplicate scene three, which is what you're seeing right now. And what we're going to do is hit Control D in the main uh, final composition. And we're going to pull it towards the end of the timeline. I'm going to right click up here in the uh, timeline tab and go to composition settings. We're going to make this three minutes because we don't really know exactly how long it's going to be. So just to give us some more room here, hit OK. And we want to extend this camera layer. And then my track is not long enough, so we're just going to leave it there. So now let's go up to the project panel, go to our scenes folder, go to scene three and hit control D again to duplicate it and see it renamed it to scene six. So that's great. Let's double click it to open. Now as we can see the composition was duplicated, but the nested comps were not. They're still the same as they were in scene three. So we need to duplicate and replace the nested compositions. So in scene six, which is where we are now, our brand new scene, we have scene three photo 01. And in CS4, if you double click, it'll open up that composition. And as you can see, this is our pre-comp where we have our rope and our um, clipboard and the little frame for the Polaroid. If you double click scene three, which is nested inside this composition right here, we get to the comp where we um, drag and drop in our photo. So just to go over that again, we have our scene comp which has our scene number and then photo pre-comp, which has nested inside it the photo placeholder. So what we're going to do next is go to the scene three folder in the replace photos here folder in the project panel. And we're going to hit control D and that's going to duplicate that folder and all its contents. So these are actually new compositions that were created, but we're going to rename them to say scene six instead of scene three, just so we can uh, keep track of them. So now if you open up these compositions, you should be able to drag and drop in your new photos. And what I'm going to do here is to rename these. Um, I just added this text so we'll be able to just give you a visual of what I'm talking about. So. I'm going to change all of these to say scene six. Okay, so I'm going to close all of these comps because we don't need them anymore. We're going to go back to our project panel and go to the elements folder this time, twirl that down and go to the scene pre comps folder, go to scene three, click to select it, then hit control D on your keyboard. And this one named it scene seven for some reason. So we'll just change it back to scene six. And then again, rename all of these compositions to scene six. Now when that's done, we're going to um, open all of these comps. So double click to open. And then we're, now we're going to replace the photo pre-comp layer. So let's scroll down to our replace photos here folder, go down to our new scene six folder and find scene six replace photo 01. And there's uh, two ways we can do this. We can either have them both selected as we have right now, hold down the alt key and then just click and drag over the replace uh, the scene three replace photo. So now it's replaced. That's pretty simple. If you look in the composition, I'm sorry, in the preview window, you can see it says scene six, photo 01. And we want to repeat this process for all of the scene pre-comps. So another way to do this is to, let's say, 
select scene 6, replace photo 02, we're going to have that one selected, and then have our other pre-comp selected in the timeline. And another shortcut you can do is Control alt and forward slash, and that magically replaces it. So repeat this process to replace the old comps with the new ones. So now that we've replaced um, our photo pre-comps, we're going to go to Elements, Scene Pre-comps, Scene 6, select the Scene 6 Photo 01, and then go down to our timeline in the Scene 6 comp. Select uh, the old composition, which was Scene 3, and then either Alt, drag on top of that layer, or control alt and forward slash and just repeat this process for all of the old compositions that say scene 3. We want to replace them with the scene 6 pre-comps. So once we've done that, if you want to scroll through, you'll see that all of our pre-comps have been replaced. So they now say scene 6, photo 1, scene 6, photo 2, etc. So let's go back to our final composition and select the scene 3 layer, the one that we created. Uh, go back to your project panel, scroll down to the scenes folder, and select scene 6. And now replace scene 3 with scene 6. So we can either do control alt forward slash or alt click and drag. And as you can see here, our photos now say scene 6. So now that you understand the nested comp hierarchy, you can replace photos and add scenes as many times as you need to. So I hope this was helpful, and if you ever have any questions, you can uh, email me marissa at flexvfx.com and I'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.